G'day, Rick here, and today we're going to be starting a series of videos and articles uh, on Obsidian Daily Notes. Since the advent of personal knowledge systems, or certainly digital ones, uh, there has been a great opportunity to increase the power of journaling and keeping daily notes. Daily notes in Obsidian now uh, can be you know, very lengthy, but the ability with Markdown to be able to put them inside folding headings and then call outs, and if you're not familiar with those, by all means have a look at the previous videos that I've done about how you can do that, gives you the opportunity to create very powerful daily notes very detailed, but also to push them down into a very compact viewing area that can be expanded just to get the information that you want when you want it. So visually, very quick recognition of what you're after in your daily notes when you're going back and forth between them or when you're compiling them. And that's what we're going to be exploring in this series because most of this can be automated so that it provides you with a very detailed daily note uh, with plenty of information and in a very simple manner. Now, of course, all this would be too much to cover in one video or one article, so I'm, I'm not even going to try and attempt it. So today, what we're going to cover here is what is in my daily note and what's coming in the future. Hope you enjoy it. Now, what you can see here on the screen is actually my daily note template. And this is what I mean about it all being automated as much as possible. So let's just go through the bare bones of it. I'm not going to expand it all today. Uh, that'll just be done on, on in future videos as we unpack it all. Uh, but at the top here, I've got a tag for daily notes. The date, this will automatically be created in the note when, it's, when the template is called. It will insert the date here in the day, in like FRI for Friday, for example. Uh, this is the Australian format for dates, uh, month, month and year, year. And then it is, starts the heading for my daily note. Now the activities for the last week, when folded out, that pulls all the activities that I've done for the last week from the plug-in time tracker that I've got. It shows them in a graphical form and a little bit of information. The next thing that I have here is a call out about what articles I need to write. And that's being pulled from other notes where I've tagged it as an article and to do. So that will pull those in there and just each day it's saying, flagging them for me, saying, hey Rick, get off your butt, have you written this article yet? Tasks that I plan to accomplish soon are tasks that I've created using the tasks plugin and then pulled them into the daily note, but they haven't necessarily got a start date or the start date will be in the future. Today's tasks will be those that have to be done today or should be done today and or they've got a start date of today again pulled in automatically from tasks in other notes. Then in what happened today, uh, that is a report from the Time Tracker plugin uh, that's automatic. And also then I will also make personal notes under there. And I tend to use bullet points, which I'll go through in subsequent videos rather than doing long-winded notes. But it's up to you, whichever way you want to do it. The reading, listening, watching is just to keep a bit of a record of what podcasts that I listen to every morning on my daily walk, uh, what I've been reading, uh, any articles specifically that I want to mention there. And then the next section is for any ideas. Now, I love having ideas and I like to get them down and record them. And I will record them there as a task and, and tag them. And I'll show you how I then push those into an ideas note that then gets ticked off once the idea has been implemented or discarded. It depends. Always collect your ideas and then worry about them later. The next section is today's wins. Uh, what wins that I've had for the day, anything exciting, uh, and then what I'm grateful for. Always good to practice a bit of gratitude. And then I'll also put in there if I'm struggling with anything, if anyone's really peed me off uh, or something else, well then I'll, I'll I'll put some notes down in there and just give me a chance to explain my feelings. The last section here, there's two call outs under there and therefore the notes, there's two sections. One is the notes that I've created today 
and then the second call out is for any notes that I've modified today. So that can just give me a bit of a prompt at the end of the day uh, for anything else I might like to add to those if I rushed into something at the time. So that's how the daily notes template works, all compacted up and folded as you can see, and I can access any of that by unfolding at the little arrows there. So that's where we're at. So let's uh, have a look at what we're going to discuss as we move forward. So as I say, there's a fair bit to cover and uh, I'm going to be putting those into about seven videos and articles over the next couple of weeks, I'd imagine. Uh, but to give you a bit of an idea of what we're going to cover, uh, the first one will be about the great unfolding when I'll unpack all these little icons here and certainly let you see what's behind them and what it all looks like. And that'll certainly take up one video. And then I'll show you how to set up the Daily Notes template or the way that I do it. And hopefully that might give you some ideas as to how you can do yours. I'll show you how to use the calendar plugin to create Daily Notes. Uh, then I'll show you the time tracker that I use, which is a free plugin for Obsidian. And it also generates automatic reports in Obsidian and on the plugin uh, site as well. The next thing we'll look at is creating data view queries for use in the daily note and callouts using specific tags so that the queries only pull certain information into the daily note that you want to know. We'll also then look at uh, creating a list of tasks from a query with the tasks plugin that Obsidian has, community plugin. And uh, probably one of the final things we'll look at is pushing tasks when, from one Obsidian note to another automatically. Now that's at this stage, but of course there might be some more things that will pop up as we go along. And certainly as people respond to the different videos and say, oh, Rick, could you cover this? And say, so, well, yes, why not? We'll add, that, we'll add that in too. So that's what's ahead, and I hope you enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next videos. Cheers.